eye before your next trip to the nail salon. Some valley shops may be cutting costs and it's customers who are paying the price. Contact 13 looks at what you need to know to protect yourself. What a lot of the salons are using can cause contact dermatitis, can cause fungus, discoloration, deformation of the nail. Tiffany Johnson snapped these pictures of customers' hands. She's owner of Soleil Nail Bar on Bermuda Road in Silverado Ranch. And Tiffany says clients walk in regularly with damaged nails and sore skin. My nails were so raw that, um, and just to bend them it hurt. I had to have people help me at work open things because my hands were so damaged. Customers like Patty say it's a problem she's been dealing with for years, but that all changed once she came here. Even after the very first time, there was a huge improvement in my nails. And Tiffany has her suspicion about what's hurting so many people, and she points to this liquid monomer. It's the liquid that is mixed in with acrylic powder to make it hard. Nail salons are supposed to use a safe liquid monomer called ethyl methacrylate, or EMA. This is just one example. But Tiffany claims many shops are actually using methyl methacrylate, or MMA, which is banned by the Nevada Board of Cosmetology. But as you can see, it looks very similar in color. According to a leading supplier, direct contact with MMA can lead to nose, eye, and skin irritation, plus allergic reactions like itching or skin rash. We've seen where hands have been cracked open, where you can, you know, it's blistering, it's really red. We've also seen nails completely deformed, yellowing. So why would any salon use the wrong type of liquid monomer, the kind typically used in the medical field and for industrial use. Well, it turns out it's because it's cheap. Tiffany says you'll pay about $40 for a gallon of MMA, but shops like Soleil Nail Bar pay seven times that amount, nearly $300 per gallon for EMA. But nothing is being done because customers like Patty don't know any better. I thought I was just allergic to acrylic. We're just trying to educate everybody and get the information out there. So nobody's complaining and it's just going under the radar. Pretty nasty, isn't it? So here's the contact 13 bottom line. If you think that you've been the victim of a salon using the wrong liquid monomer, file a complaint with the Nevada Board of Cosmetology. They tell us they're not getting complaints about this problem, but if they do, they will send an inspector to investigate. So now you yeah, know. Yeah, it looks like uh, something Ooh. needs to be done yeah. for sure. Yeah, for ladies sure. thinking they're allergic. That's yeah. Not. yeah. Hard to